OK, now, first confession is that I'm not an enormous Harry Potter fan, but I have seen the films. And as you're watching a film like that, a fantasy film, you need to try and suspend disbelief for a moment. And every now and again, a film will just shake you out of that by a continuity error so awful you just can't follow it anymore. And Harry Potter has some particularly bad examples of tree-based mistakes. For example, whenever you see Hogwarts and they're flying over Hogwarts and you see the mountains surrounding this big school, you'll notice that all the trees around it are coniferous. It tends to be pine forests around it. And yet, as soon as Harry and his friends walk out of the school and walk into the woods, they're surrounded by deciduous trees. How is that possible? Coniferous trees are trees with needles, whereas deciduous trees are trees with what we would think of as normal leaves that shed their leaves in the winter. That isn't the worst of it. By far the worst mistake is the Whomping Willow. Now this is probably at the moment the most famous tree in modern cinema, and it's not even a willow. How hard can it be to find an appropriate willow? It's not surprising it's trying to kill people. People keep calling it the wrong name. <laughs> this is a willow. Oh, it's, it's a tree that tries to hit people. I, frankly, that's as much as I know. I'm not really a Harry Potter fan. My wife doesn't like going to the cinema with me because there'll be a scene where they're supposed to be flying over the Amazon rainforest and I'll just tut in annoyance and go, well, that's quite clearly a Southeast Asian rainforest or point out historical inaccuracies in films and so forth. OK, well, this is one that was pointed out to me by a friend, um, which is in Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves. Apparently there's a scene where they all run into a larch plantation. Now larch was introduced into this country in the 17th century. Robin Hood is supposed to have been around in the 13th century. So larch wouldn't even have been present in Britain at the time. But generally whenever you do Robin Hood films, they invariably put Robin in some vast cavernous forest surrounded by giant trees. You never see any coppice and really Sherwood Forest at that time would have all been coppice. All the trees would have been cut down to ground level, lots of small shoots. Uh, the recent BBC series was filmed in Tall Beach Forest and we don't have that in the UK. It, it must have been in, I don't know, probably Czech Republic or somewhere in southeastern Europe. There was no small-leaved lime, there was no hazel, there were none of the trees that you would expect Robin Hood to be living in and amongst. So people need to think more carefully about this. It just spoils it for the rest of us. And what are children learning, frankly?